Hi, in this video we are going to talk about how to move the cameras 1000 feet far away from the network video recorder. You may wonder why we need to place the cameras so far away from the network video recorder. Okay, now let's move to the whiteboard and see what the real case we are dealing with now. There are three cameras installed in the bound, and the network video recorder was placed in the bound, but now the owner wants to move this network video recorder to the house so he can watch the live video from the bound from these three cameras at the house. The problem is there are about 600 feet between the bound and the house. As we know, the TCP IP network only can supply about 328 feet. After that, the signal will start dropping. Okay, now let's move the workshop and how, see how we can settle this issue. Here we got three IP camera, and this is the PoE network video recorder. You can see the cameras connecting to this network video recorder, and you can see the camera's live video. First, let me just disconnect the cable because we are going to move the network video recorder about 1,000 feet far away from the bound. Okay, let's move the camera to the edge. In order to complete this system, we will need to this long run PoE switch. This switch will supply the power for this three IP camera. Meanwhile, it has two long run ports. So we are going to use one of the long run ports to send the data back to the PoE MVR. Okay, uh, now let me just power this switch. And I'm going to connect all this camera to this PoE switch. You can see all the in indicators on, which means this, this PoE switch is supplying the power for all these three cameras. Okay, now I need the cable. This is 1,000 feet internet cable. Continue run, it's 1,000 feet. So I'm going to connect to one of the long run port, the port first port. And the other end, can we just connect the cable directly to the network video recorder? Negative, it will not work. The reason is even this, this switch can supply up to 1,000 feet long run, but for the network video recorder, it's regular recorder, it only can supply 328 feet. So in this case, we also need this PoE standard. The PoE standard will help the network video recorder to return the signal. So there's input and output. I'm going to connect the input to the cable. But connect in, you can see there's no, the indicator is not on. What is the problem? The thing is, in the standard PoE system, there always has power hand shaking. I mean, before this switch release the power to this adapter, and we need to make sure it's PoE compatible device, like, like the PoE IP camera SS point. So it will not work because we didn't connect to anything. Even if we connect to the network video recorder, it's not work because this is not the PoE device. I mean, it, can, it doesn't need the PoE power. So in this case, we still need this PoE speaker. Okay, let me connect first and explain later. There's input port and just connect to the output port. Once I connect in, you can see ind indicators on. Here we got also indicators on. That means the whole PoE system is working. I can connect whatever IP device to this port. It, it could be the camera, it could be the network video recorder, PC computer, access point, anything. Okay, now let me just get another short punch code to link this data port to the uplink port of this network video recorder. We don't need any of this PoE port because now this one is taking, taking the place of this PoE. Now it's supplying the power for the Camera, okay, now I can see the camera's live, right? This is 1,000 feet. It's live now, and we just use the switch, long run switch, send the data, all the video fit to the switch. Okay, let's just get another challenge. Now it's 1,000 feet. I want to add another 500 feet. Okay, we got another one. Total is 1,500 feet. Let's see whether it's working or not. Because this cable, I, now I need to get some copper to join this cable together, this copper. You see they're separated. So this is just the copper to physically join these two rows of cable. Okay, first let me just disconnect the cable from here. Okay, I'm going to use the copper to join one end. I need to find this two end of the additional cable. So I connect 
one end here, just connect the other end to the adapter. Let's see whether it's work or not. Let's wait for a while. Okay. I think we need to wait for a while. Still no. Okay. I think it's getting the live video now. How many came? Okay, so all the three camera. Yes, it's live. That's totally 1,500 feet. That's almost the maximum. But for this kind of setup, very one important thing is about the cable. Just don't use the low cost KFIU cassis cable. Otherwise, it's it's not going to work. Because when the factory this produced the cable, they expecting you just working with about 328 feet. So some of the supplier, I, I, I don't say all the supplier, they will just use a low cost. Maybe they think it's, it's okay for 328 feet. But now we are working about 1,500 feet. So in this case, you will better use the qualified KFIU or CAT6 Ethernet cable. CAT6 will be better. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, please post it in the comment section below. See you next time.